Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons. And today, we're going to take a look at the OSI model and the TCP IP model and, you know, compare and contrast and, and share some good stuff about it. So, uh, the OSI model is more theory, we'll put theory in quotes here, than the TCP IP, which is, is more the practical model. We'll, we'll start at the top, actually, um, and my network brethren, I'm sorry, I know it's climb the ladder when you're troubleshooting, but we're going to start at the application layer, and this is the layer where, you know, you are interacting with technology, whether it's a, a browser or a game or a command line tool, that's the, the application that you're interacting with. And then, right below that, you have the presentation layer. And this is really dealing with syntax. Uh, some, sometimes it's, it's called the syntax layer. And then right below that, you have the session layer. And this is where session management is happening at an application level. And uh, right below that, you have transport. And so you have reliable transport. You have unreliable transport, but that's... Uh, Layer four, and that's where your, you know, your TCP and UDP ports uh, are, they live at that layer four. Then you have your network layer. This is your, uh, on the TCP IP model, that's, that's the, the IP layer, and that's uh, where your uh, IP address is, IPv4 and IPv6. And then you have the data link layer, and this is your, your switching layer. MAC addresses, and, and this is your, you know, your MAC and link, uh, logical link uh, layer. And then you have your physical layer. Okay? And that's, that's kind of the theory of protocol stacks. And then you have the TCP IP model, and this is more the uh, the practical or, you know, reality of, of the stack. And so pretty much you have all three of these layers combined into your application layer. Transport and network are the same between the two models. And then you have a combined physical layer here for the TCP IP model. So seven layers, OSI, and four layers, TCP IP. And, you know, if you talk applications, you have HTTP and, and SSL and DNS and all these different protocols. And, and, you know, all these protocols live in this space. So if you look at something like, uh, let's, let's take a look at SSL. And I don't know where I'm going to draw that because i got other stuff to draw. Okay, so if we take a look at SSL, or I guess we'll say TLS. Well, TLS is the transport layer security, right? But it lives up here in application presentation session or application and TCP IP model. Because if you look at it, and there's a, there, if you go out to the security stack exchange, there's a holy war on, on which, app, which layer SSL and TLS uh, belong in. And so if you look at the underlying transport uh, that TLS uses in TCP, it would have to be above layer four. Uh, and because SSL and TLS use handshakes, that would mean that it's, it's probably session five, um, but it's using handshakes uh, to do additional things like encryption. So it would really sit above layer five at uh, layer six and seven. However, applications are also using SSL and TLS as a transport mechanism, so that would have to cap at layer four. And so what is it? Is it layer four, is it layer five, is it layer six, or is it layer seven? And that just you know, leads to the conversation that again, these are models. Not every application, not every protocol is gonna fit in a box. You know, we like to create boxes so that we can understand things and categorize things, but they're just models. We have weather models and they don't always work out so well. And so uh, important, you know, as you, you uh, look down all kinds of different protocols, you'll find that they don't always fit in a nice, neat little box. So um, 
the uh, protocol data unit for all of these at the app layer, you're really just talking about this is all you know data. It's organized somehow, whether it's messages or uh, you know blocks or, or whatever. Uh, all of this is is uh, you know the uh, protocol data unit um, is uh, is is just data. Here at the transport layer, you know you have TCP and UDP are the very common uh, layer four. Uh, RTSP is another one, but uh, these are for TCP segments. That is an M, and for uh, UDP, they're datagrams. And then, of course, at the network layer for IP, we have packets. And, uh, of course, there's other things out there for network besides uh, the, the uh, IP. And then uh, this, again, uh, for uh, TCP IP and, and OSI. So at the physical layer, you have uh, layer two, you have frames. And then at the physical level, layer, um, actually hidden on the wire, you have a, a bit stream. And, and so frames can be different sizes, packets can be different sizes, segments and datagrams can be different sizes. And all these layers have to work together because if the segments pass something down that is too big uh, to fit in a packet, it's got to be broken up. If packets are too big for frames, they have to be broken down and, and, and so on. And then they have to be reassembled on the other side. So all these protocols that fit, that, you know, they have to be able to handle all this error correction and, and uh, reordering and all of this stuff is, is something all the protocols, no matter where they sit on the stack, they have to be able to handle those things. And so if we look finally at the devices uh, that, that sit in here, and if we start at the bottom, you have your, your interfaces, your cables, and, and even like with some um, optical stuff like uh, DWDM and Sonnet, they're not re really even dealing at, uh, at the second layer yet, and then here, you have switches, so any of your 802 dot protocols are, are going to be fitting in here at the switch level. And then you have routers here. And uh, so, you know, if you're looking at uh, your uh, collision domains are kind of handled here at the switches, your broadcast domains are handling here at the network layer. And then at, at layer four, this is where you have uh, traditional load balancing, uh, your network firewalls. Um, and then up above layer four, this is where you have your app firewalls, uh, whether it's a web app firewall or, or you know, other uh, protocols, uh, your SSL VPNs, uh, your proxies, and uh, you know, your uh, application delivery controllers, all of that stuff sits up here above layer four. So um, hopefully this has uh, been a helpful introduction to the differences between OSI model, TCP IP model, and the fact that they're just models, that, that things like SSL and TLS, they, they don't always fit in a box. And then the different protocol data units uh, for the different layers, some of the devices that fit into these different, different layers. So uh, see you out there in the community. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, and thank you very much.